so today we're gonna try and do something with the gray spots that are coming in that I tried to fix the last time I dyed my hair. We're just going to take the section that has the most amount of weight and bleach it. We're gonna do probably do the roots first and then the ends because these are pretty these have been bleached pretty extensively and I don't want to damage them too much. I don't know how much of the blue I'm going to get out. I guess we're going to see how how potent well dye is as far as bleaching. I don't know. We're going to we're going to see how that goes. I probably am going to attempt to tone it. I have some grayish manic panic dye that I'm probably going to throw in and see what it does. But the main goal we're going to try and accomplish is just get this as silvery as we can to kind of match the white because you can see how white the way it actually is. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to section out the parts that I feel like I need to bleach and then bleach them. Okay, so this is pretty much what we're looking at. It looks like I got a bit more hair on this side than this side, but I feel like I just, like, that side of my hair just actually has more hair. So yeah, I'm just going to mix the bleach up and do the roots first, then do this blue. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> oh, the bleach I'm using is the Manic Panic Flash Lightning. This is the only thing that I can get at Walmart. It's not bad, bad bleach, it does the job. It's got 30 volume developer, so that's points for Manic Panic. At least they tell you what volume your developer is, which is not what like I looked at a bleach London bleach kit and it doesn't say what volume developer it is and I kind of like want to know that you know I don't know if you guys know this about the manic, manic panic bleach kit but you get a good amount of stuff in here for nine dollars so you get your shower cap you get good gloves not those crap like saran wrappy gloves you get a brush, a mixing tub, and the developer, and the bleach comes in this. But, like, it's a complete kit. You don't have to buy anything else to use to bleach your hair. So, it's for anybody that's like, I don't know, the Manic Panic Bleach. Like, it works. It definitely does the job. Are there better bleaches? Probably. But I'd, I'd say this is pretty close to, like, quick blue. Okay, so I got all the bleach mixed up. And we're just going to concentrate this on the brownish part of the hair first. And then we'll do the blue.
Okay, so I've got all the bleach in. Probably gonna do three minutes. I'm wrapping it in tinfoil and then I'm putting a cap over it to retain some of the heat. I feel like I did a decent job covering it. I don't know, we might have to do some touch-ups and a second round of bleach when I do the blue. We'll see. Okay, so that's what my hair looks like now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the bleach in the blue and maybe reapply some more bleach to the top and then we're gonna let it sit for like maybe 20 more minutes. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes for this part and like 20 minutes for the blue. Because like I said, I didn't want to leave bleach on the blue part too long because it's already pre-lightened hair under the blue. So we're going to see what we got. lighter blue actually lightened pretty decent this side's still kind of blue but I'm not I'm not bleaching it again and then that turned pretty white white so like I think we're going to rinse this out and put the gray in it because I don't, I mean it's still, it's not bouncing, I just, I don't really want to fuck this hair up that bad. I think it'll be a lot lighter. when I rinse it out but this came out pretty freaking blonde which is good yeah that is white so like you can't well it's like pale yellow <laughs> but I don't think you're gonna be able to see the white as bad so yeah we're gonna rinse this out and then um we're gonna see what the gray does with the blue, but that's ultimately what's gonna go with my hair because it's gonna be closer to white, so. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. So like you can kind of see the white, but not like you could before, you know what I mean? So this is the only like grayish dye I have. This is Dark Star by Manic Panic. So we're gonna do a strand test to see what this is gonna do to the blue part. Because the blue part's pretty white or pretty light, but it's still 
pretty blue and I got like a pretty decent band. So I am going to do a strand test and then that's probably going to determine if I try and re-bleach this side. Because this side is actually pretty gray looking, which is what we were aiming for, but I don't know. We're going to see what the dye does, so. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Okay, so this is the second round of bleach. Hardly any blue left over. Pretty much got like a silvery thing going on now. And the white is, the top is like a pale banana yellow. The hair still feels like it's in pretty good shape. I know it looks a little questionable at the ends, but I am going to trim that. And then, um, it's still like, it's still got integrity. See, usually you can tell you have fucked up on bleaching too much by the hair bouncing. Like it's springy and this is not. So we're just going to go ahead and put the dark star in. Like that's the dye that I have. That's what we're going to use. That's what I got. Okay, so that is all of the dark star in. I don't know if you can see, like this is such a weird color. I don't know if it's gonna act like a toner and I'm just gonna get a whiter blonde or what. But yeah, we're just gonna let this sit for a little bit. guys it's Zita so I wanted to show you guys kind of the end result of my hair I've kind of got it in two braids so you can't see all of the silver but I got this to a pretty decent silver color but the blue in my hair is dying it bluish so It's kind of what we're dealing with. There's not really much I can do about that because it washes out into the gray. So I used a couple different dyes, like trial and error to get this silvery color. I, you saw the bleaching process. So basically I tried this Manic Panic Dark Star and this is pretty purpley gray. It looks a lot darker than it comes out. This is a pretty pastel uh, color. I would say this is kind of like a toner without using developer because it definitely got a good amount of brassiness out of my hair, however it did turn it sort of a purpley tinge. Then the other thing that I tried is, this is Wella Paints. This is Silver Lilac. And this is also, you can kind of see, it's a purpley silver to kind of get rid of the brassiness 
that I get when I bleach my hair because my hair is very dark. So this is also a little purpley, obviously, because it says lilac, but like not as much as you would think. I think the Dark Star is a little more purpley. And then I tried Wella Color Charm Paints Chrome. Now this is very purple. This is a very purple color. You can see the color right there. It is darker than the silver lilac. So you can hear my dog growling at themselves. <laughs> I don't know what she's growling at. She just does that sometimes. So this is really purple. This comes out semi-dark and what I did to get it out of that you can still kind of see I've got like a purpley sheen to parts of this I just shampooed it after I dyed it I think twice and I got a good amount of that purple out but it was super like purple silver looking so this as a I mean chrome I mean it looks like it now but like Man, when I first saw it, it was like purple tinged for sure. And I've never had a silver dye do that. Usually they turn green on you if your hair's not light enough. Like the Ion, that's really the only other silver I've tried. They, it either goes like silver, like bluish or greenish. And this went straight light purple like light purple, light lilac purple. Like I would consider this a lilac purple as opposed to the silver lilac. So just keep that in mind if you are trying to reproduce results like this. But this is my solution to my incoming grays. I'm kind of debating on what I'm gonna do with the blue. I think the next time I have time to dye my hair, I'm gonna do like a dark blue and call it good and hope it doesn't get into the silver. Cause I like the silver. I think the silver looks pretty cool. I'm here for this bride moment. See, I have a good chunk and then there's more in this little teeny braid, but it goes all the way like to here. So I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, this is the only thing I could come up with yeah. to... <gasps> what is wrong with you? This is the only thing I could come up with. <laughs> She's such a jerk come up with to combat oh the grays. Oh my goodness. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Are you whining? What are you doing right now? You're only going to whine when I'm filming. Is that what we're doing right now? Jerk. You. So yeah, those are the products I use to get this. Let me know what you guys think down below. I will try and link some of the products down below. Everything was purchased from Sally's. Actually, everything was purchased from Walmart. I got all of the Wella color charm paints and the manic panic came from Walmart as did the manic panic bleach which is the bleach that I'm using now because it works and I can get it at Walmart and it's pretty cheap so 
So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on other social media. Mine will be posted in the description box down below. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.